Hello again, it's uh, Brad Ward here with Ward's Auctions in Edmonton, Alberta. Ready for another uh, walkthrough video, if you will, or whatever you want to call it, for our May 28th to 29th, 2017 auction. Uh, online bidding has already started for that sale, and that's through iCollector, but just go to our website, wardsauctions.com. Uh, all your links are there to your printed catalog, your online bidding, your viewing times, and the viewing time is Friday the 26th. Now, unfortunately, we're late. Tomorrow's viewing day, so we're filming this literally the day before viewing. That's just a side effect of the industry, so or our part of it anyhow. And that's from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. 11802 145th Street in Edmonton, Alberta. And, uh, and again, just a great sale. Now we have, those of you that are regulars to our building know that I'm about to cross into the warehouse. And it's not the first time we have, have breached the warehouse for, for product for the sale. And, and today we did the same thing. So when you get here, feel free, you're welcome into this area. I'll show you everything. So we've got everything from snow blowers to ladders to vintage tools there. This is a Lycoming airplane engine. Uh, the family was going to build a home built back in the day. And so the logbook is there with that. Uh, use it for an airplane or it'd also be great for a swamp boat or something along that line. Uh, furniture, mountain bikes, the uh, uh, some mid-century pieces. This is a terrific table and chairs, oriental influenced obviously, and uh, of course the immediate response to most of the guys that have seen it so far, what a, what a great games table it would make. So it's eight-sided, each, each uh, station does have a little drawer. Uh, of course it's really it's a dining table, but it would make a great games table. French Provincial Suite back here, and then a couple of, uh, of uh, yard tractors, if you will, or riding mowers, a Poulan and a Craftsman, or a Master Craft, sorry, and these were both driven into the building off the truck, so both working that way, not that there's warranties or anything implied, but they are, they were driven in They're from a great family, I sold a home for them this spring, and, uh, and this, we have quite a bit of stuff in the sale for them as well. So that's the warehouse, feel free to come in here when you come to the viewing on the Friday, and uh, in the meantime we'll get you up to the main sales room. Okay, in our usual starting point in the sales room, and there's a lot to look at and a lot to talk about, and again the viewing is on Friday the 26th from 4 o'clock till 8 o'clock. On the Sunday, when uh, on day one of the sale, we will sell from lot 100 to 350 inclusive, in order, and it will be starting at 11 o'clock, the doors will open at, at, uh, at 10. Now we will then shut down for the day. On Monday we open again at 4, you can come and view and you can, and then we'll start selling at 6 o'clock, lot 351 up to the end which is about 700. And, uh, and again in inclusive. So lots to look at. I mean this is actually a wine um, bar, not bar but storage. All these pull out. There's a fridge in here. Uh, solid oak. There's actually an original receipt where they paid $3,100 for this back in 1980 and it is as solid as a rock piece. Not necessarily an antique of course, 1980, but obviously made to look like one. Whereas right next to it is a genuine antique. Sheridan style desk there, a big beautiful drop front. Canadiana curb glass side, uh, side by side, or uh, uh, china cabinet. Inside, um, most of the die cast in the building came from one, one fella, again a real nice guy again and he, he collected die cast. Not all of it is his, but there's a whole bunch of cars and trucks that are his and a great selection. Another little curio cabinet here. Lots of mid-century modern. There's Canadian pieces and there's also Danish pieces in the teak of, of all different shapes and sizes. This is a neat podium. It even comes with a gavel. Freestanding. Covered down here. I think that uh, I think I might need that. There's some nice oil lamps in the sale. You're going to see limited edition prints. You see some framed up there. You're going to see a whole bunch that are not framed. You're going to see China, here's Royal Albert, uh, there's a Paragon set coming up, there's Mission Furniture, there is Victorian Crank Table with the crank there, uh, this is a Paragon set here. You're going to see again more, more mid-century, there's a, a Hoosier style kitchen cabinet over here. Uh, right here, it's a smaller one, you can see next to me, this is a little bit smaller, so that's kind of fun. This, this is solid, solid quality, this Oriental style desk, double pedestal desk or knee hole desk if you will. Mid-century, this is a Grundig turntable, record player, etc. We haven't actually tried it, I'm going to be honest with you, but I just thought if you were setting up a mid-century room, maybe by viewing day we will get a chance to try it. If you're setting up a mid-century room, just, to, just for the look of it, just to have it on your sideboard, is a, kind of a neat idea. My opinion, to which I'm entitled. Figural lamps here, harvest table. Again, we've got antique mixed in with virtually brand new. Uh, very, very solid quality display cabinet here. 
you're going to see several gramophones in the sale. Here's one, there's another one, there's another one, and another one. There's, I don't know if there's eight in the sale or whatever. Most of them are working, if not all of them. I'll demonstrate one later on as we go along. And, uh, um, and they're definitely worth your attention to have a look at. So a little bit of everything inside here, just a neat color on this sewing machine. And uh, more mid-century in the teak down here in the nesting table. I think there's three sets of nesting tables or something like that. In here, uh, yeah, those that have started following our Facebook page, you probably saw where I did post the, the Paps Blue Ribbon um, neon sign on there, which is a neat piece. If you're not already following our Facebook page, now's the time to do it. It's literally, there's probably a link from our website if I'm not mistaken. And if not, it's easy. You're on Facebook, you type in Ward's Auctions and I'm sure we pop up. We have two Facebook pages because of the rules for Facebook, we can't advertise firearms. Um, not like not a paid ad, these boosted ads and so on. And so, so we've separated off the firearms one. So we have another one that's called, I think Wards and Haynes Firearms Auctions and whatever. You can, you can find it easy enough if you just do a little bit of searching. Flat screen TVs, I think there's two or three of them in the sale. This is a gorgeous slate clock. Now the connector for the pendulum, uh, the little spring piece is, is broken. So not, it's not a hard fix, but you do have to get that one fixed. Semi-modern double pedestal S-curve roll top. Solid, solid quality. It says Oak Craft on there. It's probably a brand name. Definitely nice quality. Canadian sideboard here. Another gramophone there. This is as heavy as a house. This is really neat. Probably an artisan piece that they paid a lot of money for if I was a betting man. Um, so, uh, speaking of the firearms, they are, we have, we're cataloging already and that's going to be August 19th. And there's nothing on the website yet, but I bet there's 200 250 pieces accounted for already. This is a nice antique bedroom suite. We have broken it into two lots. I think it's bed and dresser and, and then vanity by itself. Really nice solid quality and excellent condition. We're loaded up with prints in here. Everything from limited edition pieces to a uh, group of seven pieces to not sure what else we have in there, but there's quite a, quite a selection in there. Um, antique and vintage mostly 100% wool rugs, every shape and size you can imagine. There's probably five or six pieces there. Again, modern pieces mixed in with antique pieces, mixed in with mid-century modern, etc., etc. I think we have, we'll get to the other cabinet over there and on the swing by, but I think there's three sets of sterling flatware, uh, including this one here. This, and I think they're all Burks. Kings, Queens, and Pompadour, if I'm not mistaken. Coins, we've got coins, everything from sterling to double dollar sets to gold. They're over with the jewelry, at least for now. They may be on this cabinet on viewing day. So if you come, um, don't be confused if, the, if you can't find the, the, the coins you're looking for over there. Even though you're going to see them in the video, they might end up over here. So uh, In front, just a little hard to get at with the camera. Framed Alan Sapp picture here, a painting, original artwork of course. There is Nifty Slay, uh, lots of stuff in the cabinet as usual, everything from Royal Crown Derby to, uh, to trains. Uh, th this was actually left over from a train auction we did some years back. And then uh, the fella was, he took a few to his, his retirement home and then subsequently passed. So these are the, the last pieces after he's gone. This is a neat little miniature sterling um, plate set on a rack, kind of, kind of a neat piece. Uh, more die cast and there's more of this type of thing in the back coming up. Almost life-size doll here. Cratchit, Bob Cratchit desk, solid as a rock. And uh, I, I, you know, everybody needs one of those as far as I'm concerned. Again, antique mixed in with modern, as usual. Platform rockers, uh, Victorian rockers, East Lake armchairs, more gorgeous oil lamps. There's a, there's a few in the sale. Victorian parlor set here, his and hers. Uh, quality dining room suite here and ribbon grade mahogany, another display cabinet, side by side, another gramophone as promised, curios, bedroom suite, there's mid-century back here, another um, uh, display cabinet, single door oak, there's deco in there, there's another gramophone, I'm gonna, I think I got this one queued up to, you can sing along. Down the tippy-tappa by the blue, you see, always long, leaning like he from top to toe. 
and off he sings this do do yo do do yo do do he's the do do bird in the banyan tree. Now how fun is that? Dodo birds. Uh, wall unit over there. There's artwork. I haven't really pointed out much of the artwork and I missed a few pieces on the other wall I should have mentioned. Some great stuff. Little fitted Schiffer robe here. Nice and clean, ready to go home. Now the Curio, guess what? Die cast cars inside there. Uh, the portable air conditioner. You're going to need that right away. Uh, marble top wash stand. This is one of my most favorite pieces in the wholesale. Artisan piece for sure. Marble top wash down there. Here's more sterling. I mentioned a couple flatware sets. Uh, that's going to be sterling. Uh, that's one set. Uh, down there you've got some sterling and some some um, uh, plate, I would imagine, but all neat pieces. And then you've got you know sterling straws and what. There's just fun stuff. This is going to be plate, but very nice in the crude set. So so no discounting that. Into here again in the smalls room. There's some miscellaneous shelves over there. Those that are, are, are regulars to us know that. Mid-century chair here that originally came from Scandia. A lot, 521 on that one. And as comfortable as it looks. Look at the stack of appraisals this time. Those are all the appraisals for the jewelry we have in the sale. Not everything's appraised, but everything we do get appraised, we do stand behind, as those of you that are regulars know. But have a look at what we have here. This is a, this is a sterling silver piece, 10 troy ounces in the little presentation box, make a great gift. This pocket watch is 14 karat and uh, an 11 jewel and it is an American Waltham. It's absolutely wonderful. Chased on all sides. So take a look at that one. Lot number 244 Alpha and you'll find additional pictures on the website of course. There's gold coins as I mentioned. There's mesh bracelets. It's 3200. I put a couple of little cheat notes for myself here just so I could point out that that some of the values here, 5,800 appraisal on that one, 4,000 on this one here, that's antique, so you got a nice Georgian piece there, uh, the, the earrings that were 4,200, those are antique, you've got an $11,000 solitaire there, and that one is lot number whoo, 209. So have a look at the, 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 the website for that, because again, you're gonna see additional photographs, a photograph of the appraisal that you can look over, there's all kinds of costume. There's Sign Sherman down there. There's additional watches, pocket watches, wrist watches. There's a, a Burke's fashion watch there. There's some original, um, uh, genuine Tiffany pieces there. Of course, bags of costume as you've seen us do before. You got Royal Dalton figurines and Beswick and Hummel. Including a couple of larger Hummels down here. There's Ladro. There's a little bit of everything in there. More china, cast iron, uh, decanter, or not decanter, but uh, punch sets. And I think there's two or three, uh, and they're all kind of unusual ones this time. Not the same thing that we normally see. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You might have seen the, the commodes. I don't know if there's 30 commodes in the building or more, but there's a whole bunch, and that's uh, from one person, pre predominantly, anyhow. And, uh, you know, there's. That people collect all sorts of things and there was no duplicates really and uh, lots of lots of fun stuff lots of die cast again lamps cups and saucers comic books oddities like you wouldn't imagine you can't imagine there's a little battery powered Harley Davidson down here and big double pedestal desk here this actually wouldn't we don't normally take a piece like this but two reasons we did one sold real estate for him, different family than the tractors and then also he had this custom made topper for it done years ago which I thought, you know, really added, you know, a marketability to the, to the big double pedestal desk. So I thought that was pretty cool. So this is going to go with the big desk. There's some vintage toys here. Uh, looks like a, uh, what do you call it, a demi set. Lots of die cast and sets here. Oil lamps. Uh, guy stuff. There's a shuttle there. There's a uh, little bit of Christmas decorations. A little bit odd for us to have that. There's lots of great artwork. So again, we're not pointing out too much of that. But take a look at the wall behind me. Take a look at this Flow Blue Charger. I mean, back in the day, we would have easily sold that by itself for, for some hundreds. And now that's going to be uh, with these other two pieces. But still, just a wonderful piece. More, more commodes, some lidded. There's quite a few carved ducks in the building. There's more t uh, tools. You saw some tools in the back warehouse. There's also some more up here. Little child sewing machine. I think there's two in the building. There's this one and another one, if I'm not mistaken. There are some musical instruments. I don't know if this is a harpsichord or, or whatnot. Um, I know there's some, there's some uh, 
guitars and there is a banjo. And I don't know a lot about those sorts of things, but they, the banjo seems like really good quality and a couple of the guitars there. Vintage typewriters, which are neat to decorate an office with. Now, we're not going to show you everything, uh, but just again, more die casts, some great artwork in the sale. Uh, I'm sure I've missed something. Um, keeping in mind, though, of course, the viewing is on the, the Friday. Uh, it'll be on the little script below us on the, on the video. Online bidding has already started. Just a word of, of caution, whether it's online or in-house, as much as we have some of the best clientele, both for bidders and for, for um, uh, consigners, and we're very fortunate that way. And every month or every sale, we get additional bidders, and that's great. We also lose three or four or even five every auction. Uh, and how do you wonder, well, how do we lose a bidder? If you, if you don't pay your bill on time, we got very specific terms and conditions on how to pay your bill and when to pay your bill. If you don't follow the rules, then you don't get to play next time. If you, so if you don't do that on time, if you don't communicate with us, uh, if you don't pick up your items, if you uh, return an item, you know, this is, this is an auction. We know we do a great job getting everything together and presenting it for you. Um, you know, but if we call that orange and you call it tangerine, well, that's just the way life is, right? So it's there for you to view. So if you're trying to return stuff, it's, it's really if you just don't follow the basic terms and conditions, which are not complicated, then you don't get to play. So, so really don't do that. If you've ever bought something online from another place and returned it, you probably don't want to bid with us. And that's just me kind of being, you know, kind of hard-nosed. So anyhow, we hope to see you at the sale. Viewing is on Friday, 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock on the 27th of May, 2017, 11802 145th Street. Uh, in Edmonton, Alberta, wardsauctions.com, 780-451-4549. My name is Brad Ward. Call us, call, talk to the team, anything you like, and really, thanks for watching.